Hello, hello, slaves. It's time for another session of Bad Girls Rants. This time around, it's not really a personal thing, but rather it is something that's been going around for a few months now. It, you uh, are part of the cosplayer community. You'll be very familiar with it already. Uh, it's a cause going around that's called Costumes Do Not Equal Consent. Pretty much, it's addressing the issue of how mostly girls, but guys too, are often sexually harassed at conventions because they are wearing a revealing or sexy costume. And the tagline could not be any more accurate. Costumes do not equal consent. If you would be arrested or penalized for doing it on a public street, well guess what? A hotel lobby or a convention center also counts as a public location, and if you inappropriately do something to someone, or sexually harass somebody in any way, no matter what they're wearing, you will be penalized by the law. Now, I agree with the cause and I do support it. However, there are parts of it that I agree and disagree with. Let's first go with the parts that I disagree with. These are cases I feel like cosplayers are abusing the cause and just making it into something, making it into an excuse that they can complain. I, it really irritates me when a risque cosplayer gets all upset when people won't stop looking at their naughty parts. Well, you're exposing them plain as day. You know, your ass, your legs, your titties, or for guys, your balds, your spandex balds. Those are all parts of your body that normally you would cover up. But here you are at the convention showing off those erotic parts of your body. Therefore, it will attract attention and people are going to look. Fucking deal with it. If you don't want people looking at your naughty parts, cover them up. It's that easy. It's even more irritating when people stretch the truth or make something out to be that it clearly isn't. Photographers get a lot of shit at conventions, especially the professional ones with the really big ass three grand plus cameras. You know, they like taking pictures of cosplayers. It's part of their hobby. Some of them it's their job. And they enjoy it. And you know, if the photographer is a guy, chances are He's going to take pictures of guy cosplayers, but he's going to have a preference of taking lots of pictures of girl cosplayers. And guess what? The risque cosplays are going to be his favorite, and he's going to want lots of pictures of them. It's really irritating when a girl complains that a photographer has asked, he has requested a certain pose that shows off a part of the body, yet it is iconic of the character. Best example, Cammy from Street Fighter. Her victory pose, with her back turned and a thumbs up to the side. Yes, the ass is now facing the camera. Yes, this photographer now has a very nice and clear picture of your delicious ass that you are exposing. But that's what Cammy does. That is Cammy's victory pose. And it makes sense that photographers will request it. So fucking deal with it. Now here are the parts of the cause that I agree with. Say, a risque cosplayer is talking to her friends or is involved in a large photo shoot with more cosplayers, and a photographer comes up and starts snapping close-up shots of her ass or her titties or whatever. That's wrong. That is harassment. If you see a photographer doing this, 
say something to them. Say, what the fuck, man? If you want a picture of her, ask her permission. What the fuck are you doing? A lot of times, when they're caught, they will stop and run with their tail between their legs. So call them out. Call them out. Also, it is wrong for a photographer to request a cosplayer to do an erotic pose that is not characteristic of the character they are cosplaying. I cannot personally think of any scantily clad characters that will sit on a chair, spread their legs wide open, and make it look like they're fingering themselves. I... that's not classy, that is not tasteful, that is sexual harassment. Also, very big issue at conventions. Look, but don't touch. Do not touch any part of a cosplayer you do not know. And some people are like, oh, but I saw someone else touch them. Yeah, because that's their fucking friend, idiot. That's their fucking friend, dumbass. Friends molest and touch each other all the time because they know each other. They are comfortable with each other. They're okay with it. They are not okay with some complete creepy ass stranger coming up to them and slapping them on the ass, grabbing their titties, or even just putting a hand on their leg. It's not appropriate. The most physical contact you should ever make with another cosplayer is an arm around the shoulder for a picture. That is it. If you want a hug, you ask for a hug. And if they say no, you respect it. And never under ever any circumstance, touch a private part of their body. That is sexual harassment, and you will get in trouble. You will have your badge taken away. You will be taken out of the convention by security, and you might even do jail time depending on how much you did. Okay? Costumes do not equal consent. Respect the boundaries. But at the same time, all you girls that are like, oh, oh, you're looking at me. Oh, oh, you want a picture of me with my back to oh, Shut up. All right, don't abuse the cause. All right, don't take advantage of it. This cause is here for a reason. And we're, we don't need you little butthurt bitches to be making it worse, okay? Everyone needs to respect the cause on both sides. This has been... Bad Girls Rant. Salute. Bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. Bad.